school reviews today we're going to be having a look at the mcfarland toys kiss ultra action figures so first off we got the packaging here we're going to start with gene simmons uh you can see it's got the kiss logo these were originally at spencer's gifts for 12 dollars. amazing but you can see here's the here's the package mcfarland toys kiss ultra action figures there gene simmons image um, these have been opened, so there might be missing parts over here, and it's on the figure. Um, but you can see um, the nice bubble packaging there. Quite a bit of space in the package. Here's the back of the box. So you can see the KISS Ultra Action figures on the back there. We got Gene Simmons, Peter Chris, Ace Freely, and Paul Stanley. And we got the other, other figures available from McFarlane. We even get this here, which shows, you know, some, some availability of the, of the figures, of what they can change to do we're just going to move along here we got peter chris everybody's favorite cat man until eric singer stepped up and is doing a great job um so we got the ultra action figures on the side here yet again yellow we got peter there you can see his uh his, his stuff he was 11.99 as well drumstick drum launches drumstick missile gotta love those those quotes there and then there's peter chris there sort of these promo images and then there's that of the package as well we got ace freely everybody's favorite spaceman until tommy thayer came in to fill that role and these are dusty uh, so here's ace again 11.99 the best action figures i think are about 20 bucks now uh averaging on, at, at retails um gene simmons i think the best action figure uh, best action was like about 30 bucks, but then there's Ace Freely. He rides, what is it? his slogan is, guitar transforms into space sled. Best thing I've ever heard in my life. I want that on a t-shirt. Here is the Paul Stanley figure. Is this broken? No, that, that's on there. Good, good. So you can see the nice image there of Paul Stanley, and then there's the Paul Stanley figure. Beautiful. Shooting star missiles. From guitar. Um, move the figure on the back here. Same shit. Same shit. You know, you got that. Which kind of... I mean, you know, these images are the prototype images. But do not go anywhere. We'll have a closer look at these images of these figures open and out of their boxes. This is going to be fun. You won the best and you got the best. The hottest action figures in the world. Kiss Ultra Action Figures by McFarlane Fucking Toys. Now, the coolest thing about this is I really did hate on these back a uh, few few years back. And I really loved, like, the Alive figures, um, which are... Here's Paul Stanley if you want to see the Alive Paul Stanley as I unstick him. And that review's on YouTube. Uh, go check that out, right? But and I, I always wanted the Alive set, and I always wanted the uh, Creature set. But this right here was kind of iffy. I end up having three sets of these now. I have the ones with the records, and I have two sets of these that never actually got opened. The other ones have like little pamphlets, but I never opened them. So I never got to see what's in that little pamphlet of Kiss merchandise. Um, but uh, we'll start out with Paul Stanley here, and oh my god, th these are fucking amazing. Uh, pardon my language on, on this video, but uh, let's just take a look at Paul here. Now, Paul... They have these regular stuff of the figures, and then they have these extra stuff. Like, this is an extra bit, and I'm going to put it behind me because I don't like the extra bits. Uh, here's these, right? Kiss kiss shoe knives. They have stars and studs um, and things like that on them. And so they're still kind of pretty cool, and they got, you know, jagged edges so Paul Stanley can kick. I don't know who the hell he would need those for. Um, but you get these sort of love gun boots. <clears throat> uh, I don't think the chain's supposed to be back there is it i think maybe okay okay <clears throat> i'm like looking back there behind me i guess it does look like that i was used to the uh migo style um you can see the the texture here you see the stars these are the first kiss action figures since the migo wave uh maybe um <clears throat> the, <clears throat> excuse me the two foot uh there's like the not the two footers 
Um, like the 18 inch, 24, no, two foot, right? Uh, the 20 foot, 20 foot inch uh, Kiss figures. It's like the Mego figures on steroids. These were sort of the Mego figures out again since these are Love Gun based. Um, but you have these here, which kind of remind me of Jeans uh, 1979, uh, like spider bone type things. Uh, they're okay on Paul. Kind of cool, kind of weird, right? Kind of, kind of odd. I'm really hammered for this review, but I'm having fun, so let's just keep going. And these actually have articulation. You can kind of fan these out or close them. Um, real weird, right? They give you extra accessories for Kiss to fight. Um, I don't know who they're fighting. Um, the Phantom? Maybe. I don't know. Um, his guitar here looks pretty badass, right? It's got this nice sparkle in purple. It's got some studs to it. And for $11, holy hell. I mean, we don't get figures like this at all. Seven inch? No, there's no way. And not with all this uh, special uh, details anyway. And I think there's a way to shoot this off, but I, I don't know if you have to like flick it a certain way. Um, but this is supposed to be that firing missile that we were told about. Um, but you you know, you, pretty, pretty nice guitar. So let's take a look at Paul here. Um, Paul's looking pretty good. Um, these, I think, are all the bits that are just naturally on him. But he does have some nice articulation. Uh, that's as far back as the leg will go, but the leg will go forward a little bit. Um, and the arms here are on a ball joint, so you can kind of get quite a bit of mobility. These are on a one joint. Again, these are really buff figures. If I get closer, um, you'll see how buff they are, really muscly. Um, which is how I want my Kiss figures. I want them to be overly dramatic on the amount of buffness as the Migos were. And so you can see, the only thing odd about these guys is their skin on their ears is white. Um, but thank goodness they have the, the hair to really cover that up. I'm really trying to avoid this white that's happening on the camera. I uh, really want to show you that nice Paul Stanley face, which I think is pretty good. I think it's pretty good um, for a figure that hadn't happened uh, in, in a while at the time. I, I think it's good. I, these are weird. These are irremovable. Well, maybe actually. No, they're not. So if you want to have a fully love gun, Paul, um, just remove these weird ass things with chains and spikes on them because I don't think Paul would wear those naturally. Uh, maybe Gene? Not Paul, but they're, you know, they're nice. You got the armband on there. Oh, there's another point of articulation. Um, and the hands also have articulation here, so you can see the glove. There's black nails. Again, amazing figures for, for 12. And then these here, actually, that's textured there and painted. So that's another great detail. You got the, the star belt here. Back here, you got more. The head's are just on a, on a uh, swivel. You can pop the head off, actually, if you wanted to. It's very rubbery. It's a very rubbery face, as you can see. And the hair is real. The hair is real. I mean, there's no... Faking that, just like the Mego dolls, the hair is real. And so there's just your standard Paul Stanley. I could take those off, but I'd have to put them back on, and I don't want to do that. Um, so, you know, that you can stand them on the base, the base comes together. It's like, have a look at Ace here. Um, I wish this was a little more center. I'm sorry about that. New new setup here, right? Not the after score views location. It's a new setup. But here we got Ace, and... Uh, Actually, let me, uh, I'll show you the end uh, of the extra accessories at the end of this this whole video. Um, so there's Mr. Freely. Uh, face is pretty good, I'd say. Um, the only thing about this guy is they really fucked him over with like this extra, like, I mean, if you take this down, you can see that's the Love Gun uniform, but it's like way too big, and like, what the hell are these, right? But you got him a cool gun, so I dig that. I dig that we give Ace Freely a gun. They needed that in Attack of the Phantom, right? Or Kiss Meets the Phantom, whichever one. You know, different film. Um, so I'm going to put that behind me so that I don't have all these stupid accessories. And Ace here, um, his guitar turns into like a ski where he can write it. And again, you just take that off. And I think he looks better without those, without the Love Gun uniform. Because it is the Love Gun uniform. And we know if and or buts. But it's not just a triangle, right? It's not just the destroyer uniform. It's missing like the, the, the pieces around here. It has at the bottom part, but not, not the rest. And so 
I'm throwing that shit behind me. Sorry about the language this video. I'm just having a fun time. He's actually got a whammy bar on this thing. So it's very thick. It's hard for him to hold it. Even with his giant hand, it, it doesn't want to fit, right? Um, but the interesting thing about this is it does allegedly... I, I don't remember. I don't want to break it, right? But it... Oh, man. Yeah. It, it does something weird. You can clearly see from that. what. Why would a guitar have this? I don't know. You, oh man, yeah, yeah, gets weirder. What is this for? We're not seen. Oh, whoa, didn't see that coming. Oh, I don't like the way that sounds. Um, yeah, it's an Ace Freely scooter thing. I, I, you, you tell me. It seems very psycho circusy. Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, this isn't even psycho circus uniforms. I don't know. You tell me. I, I don't know. I don't know. I love Kiss. I uh, love this strap here. I love that the straps on the back here. Uh, headstock's pretty nice. We got that nice detail, but oddly enough, weird ass instrument for uh, a kiss figure to have. And again, love gun, but what the hell are these things? You can take these stupid ass rockets off. Um, kind of cool though, you know, if you wanted them. And you, I think these even come off. You can see how those rotate. And I'll go ahead and take them off for you. So we get just a standard Ace Freely. I, he's really mostly standard this way than any other way. Um, and you can have the back here again. That's not bad. Not fully accurate for love gun um, Because I had to take that off and because of the other stuff, but I mean again, it's very very fin fording uh, And this blue is actually very nice. We got more of these here. I think it's focused on Gene back there Gene will give you your spotlight. Stop stealing it from ace um, again very jacked bodies uh, You know these have full sort of range of motion. These have rotations here um, you get sort of a nice thing there. He has like these giant monkey hands. I've heard people say that before. That figure has monkey hands. He has very massive hands. Um, he's got a torso. I think Paul Stanley has that also as well. You got this. You got the bends in the knees. Kiss. That's the name. You know, you know what I'm talking about. And so these look absolutely amazing. Um, I wish I had some other KISS figures to compare with you, but they're up there and I'm lazy. Go check out other reviews. Um, but the hair, I'm okay with the hair on these since these were like freshly, you know, returned to KISS. And kind of that Mego doll was the last thing we had. So everything really had the sculpted hair. Again, the damn ears look freaking weird though. The back of the neck looks weird, but I've always wanted to repaint those. Uh, but there's Ace Freely. And, uh, again, I'm nudifying these as we go, because I think they look better that way. You can fight me on that. Here is Mr. Peter Chris, and holy, 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 what's what's going on with him? He's got a shield. Why not, right? He's got these, he has two of these. These are pretty fire. Uh, he has a little holster. He's like a damn predator. I mean, it would make sense, right? He, he, he would be the most like a jungle hunter or city hunter. But these have a lot of detail for uh, the price, right? We got a lot of detail on the, on the end there. Uh, this actually is textured. All that. And you get two of these. Right? You get two of them. And uh, actually, since we're going through Peter. Peter, I, I didn't put a lot of the accessories. He gets two. These are his drumsticks. These are actually kind of softer, so you won't hurt yourself with them. But, you know, those are his drumsticks. Pretty fire. This thing's kind of limp. But, again, sort of predatory. Like, this is very limp. But he can kind of hold it, I guess, if you wanted to. It's like a staff. I don't know. I don't know what they're going with. And then, of course, this is Love Gun. Or, you know, yeah, Love Gun era. What's what's he missing on his arms? Those good old crosses. Um, so he does have those you can you can hook on. But, again, they have this weird hook. And it's not full. Right? The Love Gun ones on Ace were like that for his uniform. But, eh, This one doesn't have anything. But, you know, I don't know. I mean, that just by itself looks cool if you wanted to make a Kiss memorabilia piece. And I might do that with these. Um, and then this one's kind of cool. You get this kiss thing, which shoots a rocket. But I'm like, where's the rocket? I don't know where the rocket is. I, I really don't know. I'll have to check where the hell the rocket is. Maybe it's in the package. Maybe it's not. Um, but kind of cool. Uh, weird little drum thing. Um, so here's Pete. And I'm going to just go ahead and take off this this here. And Kind of cool. Cool to see a shield. These are fun kiss action figures. These are kiss rock and roll, but... Well, slightly. I mean, they can kind of rock and roll night party every day. But the main thing these guys can do is, is just fight. And again, he has this weird thing here, which you stick on as an extra peat. Like, what is this? What is this? What is he, Donatello? Like, making all this weird technology? Why Why? why you got that on, Peter? 
Uh, well, what you doing? But oh my goodness, he he's the one you see how muscly he is. Um, he's very jacked. And so here we got the the Peter Chris head, looking pretty accurate, pretty nice um, as well. I think that looks very good. It's not too square. I think it's very uniform. And he has these. Look at these. These are beautiful. They got cloth on them or uh, real real hair again, of course. Um, and I feel like the let me zoom out here for you. And we got good old Peter here. We got his boots, which look, I think, uniform for looking back on my Love Gun poster. I don't see Peter's boots. And I think this is kind of how the Mego dolls were. I remember these on the Mego doll. But there wasn't actually a cut. I love this, the, the, that there. That's that's all textured again. These are all sculpted. Um, a few metal mess-ups right there on the, on the chrome. But other than that, you got these areas here, too, on the wrists. Um, you got these here. You got those, right? Th that's the only thing you really need for this love gun, Peter Chris. Show really that area. Oh, man, what is that? Oh, man, what is this? This thing can come off. I did do a mistake of that one time, and I remember taking that off, and I stuck it on that level. Um, and there's his little thing to hold the two, uh, two spears or his two drumsticks. But, again, there's Peter, and I think he looks absolutely pretty amazing as well. I'm actually going to stick his arms in the air now that we've had a look at those three dudes let's have a look at the gene himself mr simmons now before we get a look at gene sorry um we got sam the serpent i think this is one of the coolest things to ever get and it's painted very nicely and we get it with gene simmons we get our own damn sam the serpent and that's pretty fire to me i love that absolutely do um, so, Gene's already missing pieces. Gene, I think, with this guy, reminds me of the end of the road, um, mostly. In the, oh, man, stop stop doing that. I might take off his axe base because it keeps causing issues. But, make sure I'm not crushing anything behind me. Just the charger for the camera. Um, there he is. I mean, you can kind of see where this would be very reminiscent of what he wears today. Um, if you've seen the end of the road stuff, even the, the chest up here, but it's kind of a cross between destroyer uniform. I think that's what they're going for. It's kind of like a destroyer uniform stylized with the, of course, it's still a love gun. Oh man, what a damn sham. If you don't know what just happened, this is supposed to be attached to his arm and it's clearly not. So, um, I'll have to reattach that. And I think I used, I don't know if I, yeah, so he's supposed to be like that. Right, but Gene, holy hell, he, he's he kicking ass. And the only issue I do have with this guy that I don't like, and I actually bought this guy beforehand, and I repainted him one time, was these areas here. Well, those should be black, right? They're black on on, on the real boots, but I think the demon boots look great. I think they look great. They're this chrome plastic with a black wash, and the eyes are painted red. And uh, this here, right? That's not love gun boot. That's kind of like this right here is destroyer boot, and this is sort of reminiscent of hell. That is like a destroyer, which these aren't new. These, you know, these aren't based on. Man, what is that? That's probably actually uh, end of the road boot. I'm thinking of, and then they actually have this sort of weird spikage on the back. But nonetheless, I don't. I, really, these are kind of odd. It sucks because when you take them off, you just have a fucking cube there. But it's not too big of an issue, and you stick them on, and they look pretty badass. So, there's Gene. Here's his cod piece. Let's take a look at his cod piece. Cod piece is pretty nice. Let's rotate him. Never really see this side. Nice ass Gene. Um, you see black back there, black back. You see these little side areas um, for rotations. And you see his chest. His chest is very um, destroyer-ish. Um, but that's actually an extra piece. I'm not used to that being on. Um, so it just really maybe appeals to me to... Are these supposed to go down? May Oh, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to pop off these damn uh, knee bits. May maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. They're just pissing me off. Um, let me stick one back on. There we go. Um, so here again is Gene. He's got abs. Yeah, you can see him, right? See that nice abs? Um... You know, if you take off these amazing, I mean, these are cool. These arm gauntlets here 
are pretty sick. You can see they have like a snout, but they don't really have eyes. If they do, they should be painted. Oh, they do. You can see where they should be painted. What a shame, but they have these nice spikes there. Um, I don't know, I'm not going to de-gene him fully. Oh, fucking hell, like he breaking him. That's the only downside with these McFarlane figures. I've usually known the, them to sort of become fragile over time. I literally did break that piece off, by the way. Trying to put it back in. Broke it off. Didn't know that was possible. That's the only downside with these. They, they're sort of fragile. Uh, Gene's instrument, I think, is the best constructed. He gets a chain. Um, and not only that, it doesn't have any stupid gimmicks. His figure doesn't have any stupid gimmicks. Right? And he looks kind of the most accurate <laughs> out of all of them. Maybe. Maybe that's just in my mind. But the base looks absolutely killer. It's one piece. It's got some blood on there. It's painted nicely. He can hold it. It's got a chain. I don't know. I don't know. He comes with Sam the Serpent. Um, I'm going to slide these off so you can kind of get more of a accurate rendition here. If I can actually even slide this off. I probably don't want to slide it off because it might be the same fragility of of the rest of this and then I won't be able to get this back on. I'm not going to be able to pop that off. Sorry about that. I just don't want it to, to break on me. I do want to get a nice look at this head sculpt to see what you think um, about this this Gene Simmons head sculpt. I don't know what fell off. Is the knee thing of course. I think the head sculpt's okay. I think it's pretty good. Uh, the paint's my main my main thing. I think the paint's doing good. The tongue is is it too crazy or is that is that accurate? I don't know. Um, but he does have the hair up in a little ponytail. You can see like right here there's a little little thing. It may have broken. I had to do like something else like a string or something or it may have broken. I never stuck the, anything in his hair. Um, that's actually what it looks like. But you can kind of see the button's still there. Maybe there is still something in his hair. And again that's on a rotation. He's got his neck collar. And this I can remove because it's just two little side clips. But that's more love gunny. But now he's missing the chain. I always thought that he had a chain here for this figure. Because um, I saw these and I was like, oh, maybe there's a chain. But no, there's a chest piece for the love gun Gene Simmons. Because that would have made sense to me. But again, not bashing this figure. It's just something I didn't expect. And he does have a, a cape as well. Oh man, this side broke as well. Again, downsides with these figures for being probably so old. And you can just get the best action figure, which is up there, and meh, meh. He's meh. I think this guy's badass for what he is. He, he, he I, I, I don't know. You tell me. That, that's, that's killer. That is killer. I don't care how old this Gene Simmons figure, if he's not accurate to Gene Simmons on stage. And that one might be more accurate. I don't know. This one looks like how I feel Gene Simmons looks. And he's got these love gun gauntlets here, which are accurate. Again, that should be the same texture, but it's not. And we, sh we do have sort of the two uh, abs right there. We got these, which are in two pieces, uh, and then with the, the extra piece here, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just so, it's pretty cool. Again, the, the wings, I think, are fully broken off. And then the other thing you get with Gene, that you get the signature, I love you in sign language, which is true, but it's, you know, it's the rock and roll sign for Gene Simmons. I mean, again, you can kind of get that, and that is, that's Gene right there. That's Gene. Uh, this guy doesn't have any blood, but... Still know who these four guys are. Um, I'll show you what Ace came with. We didn't reveal it. It was this stupid thing which attaches to the back with rockets. Because Ace is a rocket ride, right? And then Paul Stanley has ninja stars? I, I don't know. But it does have pegs so you can plug them in. Or you can give them to Peter and his little legs. I don't know. You tell me. But, uh, and I guess I'll show. Because I, I don't know if you could see this previously a second ago. But you get this image of, of Kiss here. Pretty cool. It's stretched, so if you kind of compress it, that probably looks more normal to you. Thank you guys for watching After School Reviews. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.